Pam Wisnitzer, most Americans may not have tried it, but bartenders love Chinar. It's an uh, Italian artichoke liqueur. Right. So why do bartenders love it? Because they're coming out with a brand new version. It's Chinar 70. I guess this is the sequel. Why do you like it? I love it. Um, it's a digestif. It's an amaro. So it's great after dinner you know, to settle the stomach when you have that big bowl of pasta. But really, it's super mixable. It's lower proof, which means it can stand next to a higher proof spirit. It's bitter, which helps to balance a cocktail from the sweetness and sometimes the sour acidity of a drink. Um, and it's just really friendly, uh, especially Chinar 70. A little bit higher proof gives it more robust flavor. Well, I had a big lunch and my stomach needs settling, so you're the bartender. Why don't you pour us a little bit? And as you do so, why don't you tell me exactly what's in it? Because I know there's artichokes in it, but what else? Yeah, so it's made from artichokes primarily. And then there's uh, 13 other spices and herbs that are blended into it. Proprietary secret, so we can't divulge what's in, what's in it completely. Um, but what's cool is that the first one that came out in 1952 was just Chinar itself. But what they did recently in the last year is they doubled the proof, made it more robust, and made Chinar 70. So again, a foolproof spirit tends to like hover around 80 proof, so this is still, you know, um, a little bit less than that, but it's really great because it's going to have more of that intense flavor. And I like it. Isn't it great? Is this the best way to drink it? Should it be... Uh, so I'm, I'm very... Neat, as they say? Yeah. Um, Amari are great. Amari are definitely supposed to be consumed at room temperature. Again, it's your drink. It's your choice. You want ice in it? Put ice in it. You want to add a little bit of water? Sure. You want a mix of a soda water? I, I tend to do that. It so. is a bit bitter. Now, will this bitter trend catch on with Americans? I think it will. Uh, we have more Americans that are traveling Europe and globally, and you're seeing a lot of people drink Amari over in Italy, obviously, and then they bring that trend back here. But also the American palate is skewing towards bitter. Uh, bitter is a learned flavor as opposed to being born and liking sweet things, fatty things, milky things. And we like to be shocked. So we want things that are spicy, things that are bitter, things that are hot, and we're set on adventure. And how is Chinar getting the word out? Chinar is sort of, uh, it's, it's coming forth with uh, working with a lot of bartenders, I'd say, uh, to put it into cocktail bars, into cocktails itself, uh, making it accessible, uh, teaching people about it. A lot of great articles are being uh, written about Chinar and Amari in general, and you're going to start seeing it a lot more on the shelves of your favorite bars. Well, it's great stuff, even though it's a little bit bitter. I like it. Well, cheers to you. Cheers Thanks for to coming you. onto the street. Absolutely. Good start to the week, right? It's fantastic. <laughs> and thank you for watching the street.